There you are. Here you go. Caroline Gilbert remembers her first rabbit rescue. And this rabbit came and um, derailed me. <laughs> totally derailed me. That was in 1967. More than 50 years later, that first rescue has grown to become something much larger. I love them as much today as when I first started out. Tucked away on 30 untouched acres in Simpsonville, Gilbert's Rabbitat is a second chance at life, where neglected, abused, and abandoned former Easter bunnies go to live out their days. Most of these here are rabbits that got booted out after people got tired of them. Contrary to the Easter time hype, Gilbert warns an Easter bunny is really just a rabbit with a 10 plus year commitment and steep vet bills attached. You don't adopt them at Easter on a whim as a toy for a child because those are the ones that get discarded. Her advice for adopting a rabbit this holiday? Don't. Is that right? Yeah. But this little land of misfit domestic rabbits is no burden. In fact, quite the opposite. Oh, they responded nicely. Gilbert finding her life's calling in rescuing and advocating for these gentle, cotton-tailed creatures. Can you imagine harming even one whisker of this gorgeous animal? Ultimately, raising the real question, who's helping who? They do more for me than I do for them. I've learned so much from rabbits. They're kind, they're gentle, they're sweet, they're vegan. They're all vegan. They do wear fur, but they're vegan. Yeah, <laughs> at least it's their own fur. Madeline Hackett, WYFF News 4. <laughs> and that's the end of the interview. <laughs> in Simpsonville. I think he's had enough.